figured you'd tell me when you were ready. With her father and biological brother dead, her mother sold as sex slave to another raider gang, Deborah was alone. She was only 13 years old but already was being taught the art of murder, torture, looting and infiltration. When she was 14 years old, one of the older gang members took her under his wing, but his real motivations quickly surfaced. But by the time his hand had reached her shoulder, his scrotum fell to the floor with a splashy sound. Afterwards she trusted no one for years. Until when she was 18, and she met Michael. Instead of lovers, he became her new brother. Together, they became a feared and respected duo in the gang, quickly working their way up. Michael was always working on his hobby. He built his own power armor from the wreckage of a pre-war T-51 when the worst happened. Michael had bought spare parts from a group called the Atom Cats. When the fusion core started to burn uncontrollably Deb could do nothing but watch. He screamed as he tried to claw his way out of the armor. But it was stuck in position as the fusion core burned a hole through his chest. And on that day, Deborah lost her second brother. She went to the Atom Cats in the capital wasteland and raised their territory and people. One of the survivors had a son who re-established himself, right here in the Commonwealth. It might be best not to take me there. If that's true, that's terrifying.